Just look at that. That is tipsy lead made traditional Scottish trifle. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we are making a traditional Scottish trifle. We are making tipsy lead. Now tipsy lead is different to an English trifle. An English trifle contains jelly. A traditional tipsy lead does not contain jelly. Um, jelly has been incorporated and obviously people like jelly and it's got into the recipe. Um, so people do include the jelly. However, traditionally it's not included. Now tipsy lead came around from about the 18th century. I'm just mixing some custard actually. We have to let this go cool so we can put it on. The custard just mix it up as per packet instructions or use it out of a tin. Now unlike the English version of trifle we all know, trifle contains either Madeira wine or sherry. Scotland sticks true to Scotland and a true flavour of Scotland and it uses whiskey. Scotch whiskey. That gives it the unique flavour along with fresh raspberries. Now we all know what raspberries are. Raspberries are a soft fruit. However, raspberries are a soft fruit of Scotland. So this tipsy lead is going to incorporate the Scotch whiskey, the fresh raspberries, and we're going to make it more traditional, not the English trifle way. Okay, so I've just been mixing up this custard. That's my flame off. We're going to put that to one side. That has to cool. Now, we have to toast some, and we want to be toasting these almonds off. Now, almonds or almonds, you say it how you like. It's spelt with an L, but people say almonds. That's up to you. They are going on the top of the tipsy lead. So just a few sliced almonds for decoration. And we are going to use fresh raspberries on the top too. Okay, that's nice and steady. That's our almonds. And they're going in there. There we go, we got our almonds and they are ready for our garnish on the top of our tipsy lead. Okay, for all you people that follow the channel, to which there are quite a few. We made Madeira cake the other day. Now, if you didn't make the Madeira cake, you can buy Madeira cake. Madeira cake is traditional for this recipe. However, you can use a plain cake, like a pound cake or something like that. And what we need to do is we want some cake in the bottom of our tipsy lead dish. Now we want to put some raspberry jam on this and we want to keep this roughly the same. So we're going to, just going to come in there like that and we're going to jam it up. And this little bit we're going to keep and we're going to break it up and put it all around so that it's going to soak up all that whiskey in there. Now it is a bit special this recipe. It is one of those fantastic traditional recipes. You don't have to use whiskey. You know, you can use a juice if you so wish. But we're going to try and keep with a little bit more traditional. This is homemade raspberry jam. Oof. We can't open. Now we can. Now this is homemade raspberry jam and there's a link in the description how to make raspberry jam if you cannot buy any. Right. We want to be taking a little bit of jam onto our, so we're just going to blob a bit on to start off with and then we'll smooth it out. You can smooth it all on if you so wish or you can just dob it around. That is up to you. I'm not particularly all that fussy, you know, it's good enough, it's going to go in the bottom and it's going to have that raspberry flavour. Okay, layering up our tipsy lead. Now tipsy lead calls for Scotch whiskey. 
it calls for about six or seven tablespoons over the Madeira cake. So we're going to put some in there, probably about a ta tablespoon. <laughs> and then we're going to put this in there. Now this is going to soak up that fluid from the bottom underneath there. Now just squash it in, squash it down, break it up. It doesn't matter. Get your spoon. Let's have that in there. It does not matter. This is the flavor in the bottom of here. A little bit more whiskey over the top. Don't forget it's six or seven tablespoons. And then I've got a little bit more of this Madeira cake, which I am actually breaking this time. It's a layer on the top of there. Everybody makes it the wrong way. So don't panic, make it the way that you know. Let's just squash that in there. And that is my base for my fresh raspberries. Now, of course, you can put some more on there if you so wish. More whiskey on there. That is up to you. Or you can put a little bit more raspberry jam on. Again, up to you. So we're going to do a little bit of raspberry jam. Because it's all about the raspberries. And like I say, this is not a sweetened jam. So that's going to add to our raspberry flavor. This stage is optional. You don't have to put an extra layer. But it gives that flavor through there, you know. We're creating a flavorful dish. So we're going on there with our raspberries. Give them a little squashing. Don't be frightened of squashing them in there. That is our flavor level. This is why I use raspberry jam as well on this level. It distributes that flavor all through that uh, Madeira cake. There we have it. Now our custard should be a little bit cool. So we're going on there with our custard. I'm just going to bob that in the fridge for about half an hour to slightly set up on there before I add my cream to the top. I want that little bit firm before I put the cream on. So that's going in the fridge. The next job then, whilst our trifle is in the fridge cooling, we have to whip up some cream. I've got some powdered sugar here and I'm going to put that in. Now I'm not going to go too much on the sugar. You can use regular sugar as well. White sugar, just put it in and whip it up. I'm not really keen on the sweet whipped cream, but you know, we'll put some in just a little bit. Right, we need to whip this up so we've got some whipped cream. I think that'll do nicely. Okay, there's our custard out of the fridge. Now it's not set by any means, look, but it is set up enough to put that cream on. So we want to get our cream on there. So just daub your cream around and then just push it down. Okay, we've got that on there. You can leave it like that or you can fluff it up. Now that looks a bit special. We need to decorate it up a little bit, keep it in tradition with the Scottish raspberries. So let's have a few of those on there. We're going to go in the middle like that. And then we're going to dot a couple round. We'll come in like that to start off with, and if we've got any left, we'll come in the middle of those. I think that will do. And then we need to go on there with some of our flaked almonds. Now that's more traditional like that, but I'm just going to put some chocolate sprinkles in between. Now you could shave on some chocolate if you so wish. 
I don't have any on hand, but I do have a couple of chocolate sprinkles, which can go in there. And there we have it. Tipsy lead made. Right, I'm going to stick that in the fridge. I'm going to let it all settle up a little bit. I want that custard a little bit firmer. I won't be, it won't be too firm, but I want it a little bit firmer. And then we're going to take a spoonful. <laughs> now this is the taste test I can't wait for. Traditional Scottish tipsy lead. Right, that's going in the fridge. Oh, here we are. Look at that. That's cooled down enough. All we got to do now is give it a serving. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> now, do we go straight down to the bottom? Because we know what's in the bottom. Oh. oh, yes, please. Just look at that. That is tipsy lead made. Traditional Scottish trifle. That is amazing. <laughs> All we gotta do now is give it a taste test. Oh. Oh, <laughs> the favorite bit. Oh, look at that. Let's come in here. I'm going down the layers before I sink into the bottom. Mm -hmm. Let's get in there. Oh, come on. Oh, here we go. That is absolutely amazing. To coin a phrase, that is phenomenal. The fresh raspberries on there. You've got that whiskey soaked into that Madeira cake and you can't taste it really. It's an underlying taste, it's not strong. It's absolutely perfect. What a fantastic dessert. Mm. That is truly amazing. Wow. Now, if you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video. That is traditional tipsy lead made.